I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. Every once in a while I like to do a, just kind of like what's going on in the shop today. So, cause it's just kind of fun. I just love being here and love seeing the progress of these pianos. So we got Corbin over here, tuning away. Corbin's specialty, he does probably at least three tunings a day, sometimes four. And then, and then he does some other stuff, some plating. And of course, Lisa, she makes things happen. What else do you do? You just make things happen. And then behind the camera is Carmel. Keep going. Oh, you didn't I have guess to show I'm Carmel. not allowed to show Carmel. <laughs> Let's see. I'm we here. Got, uh, here is the Gold Branson that we're working on. The piano just had a coat of lacquer on the uh, on the soundboard, looking good. And we're gonna be it's like new dampers there. We're gonna be putting on. The, all the action parts here shortly and then and the plate waiting on the plate to be to be replated Clarendon piano has, has been all prepped and uh, And we're going to be putting new hammers on that new dampers strings are remaining original. Ooh, this is this is looking good This is a Steinway from the 1880s Steinway upright of course. This is an upright on its back Beautiful plate has been redone, that's the Steinway Gold. And you can see the, the bridge cap from here up has been replaced, that's where it was all, it was all uh, cracking. And so the, uh, um, restraining is underway. Here we have, here we have all of the different, the different measurements and the different string sizes so so we don't mess that up and then all of this is original hardware from the 1880s but it's just been kind of cleaned and polished this says patent may 21st 1870. you're sorry 1878 right there that's kind of cool then we have william here doing some regulation looks like doing cap stands on the color and candle and sid is doing Leveling. <laughs> Leveling on the Mason and Hamlin. Mason and Hamlin makes great pianos. Even even this little console is a is a good little piano. 1964. Yeah. That that kind of seems to fit the fit the aesthetic. 1964. Those pedals. Did you do those pedals? I same? did. Beautiful. You should look at the other brass I did. It's oh, really? super shiny. Isn't it so satisfying? Yeah. Every once in a while, I do my ring, my wedding ring. Looks uh -huh. like it's ready for it. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, you can see like the inside where it's nice and shiny. Oh yeah. But then the outside where it gets all damaged. Every once in a while, I'll buff, I'll buff my, yeah. my wedding ring, and they'll look like that for a little oh, while. A little and then... side note: not of the, the um, there's a collector. He's in the river woods, and yeah, Moo. Um, he ha yeah, uh, Moo. Moo. Yeah. And he showed me he has the actual prop of the one ring. That was in the movie, cool. the actual prop. <laughs> the actual and he prop. has the actual prop of the, you know, uh, Thanos' uh -huh. gauntlet with all the yeah. stones. He's got that too. That's the amazing. actual <laughs> prop. That's amazing. Here in Provo, we've got the actual ring of power. What is it called? The gauntlet of power? I don't know. It's a I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. My know kids would know. My kids are probably, if they're watching this, shaking their heads. I don't even know what that thing's called. Oh, this is, let's show this first. This is the 1870s action, the one that had the patent that, that uh, or I guess 1880s, the patent said 1878 on it. This is the action. Uh, oh no, sorry, this is a different one. It's also a Steinway. <laughs> and it's also going back really far, like 1870s, 1880s. But you get the idea. So we're putting on all new, all new action parts here. We've got new hammer butts. We're going to be putting on new dampers. We, we decided the levers, the damper levers look really good. So we're going to go with those. We've got new felt and cloth. Redoing those parts. Ooh, this looks nice. Check this out. That's beautiful. That's the, that's the little bracket bolt that goes there. Here's a Mason and Hamlin, another Mason and Hamlin. That, uh, this is a Mason Hamlin that actually we rebuilt a few years ago, full rebuild. Everything, including strings and tuning pins, all, all the action. And we just 
and, and they upgraded to a bigger one. And so now we're, so that now we just refinished it again because uh, it just had some dings. Oh, okay, this one, this is that Steinway that I was talking about here again on its back. These are looking good, so that just needs to be screwed into the right level. And then that other one is gonna go right here. This one also has bridge work. This is a new bridge cap from here up. Lots of soundboard work, all of these shims right here. This is just nice and smooth, feels really nice. Ooh, and that sounds good. This, this one actually sounded absolutely awful. All of these cracks, I remember how this sounded. It sounded like, like, like a, I don't know. Like a like a bad bad it sounded like a bad table or something <laughs> and now and now that it's all repaired and when we repair it we've we've put we put some some wedges under there to to raise that soundboard up and and uh kind of restore the crown then we put in the shims kind of like a keystone in a in an archway and then we remove the shims and then it kind of has that crown again and now i don't know if you can hear that if you can feel that coming through, but what I'm feeling live, I, I, I kind of doubt that the cell phone is picking that up, but I can like feel it just kind of like boom in my ears. It's like a, um, it's kind of like you're underwater. <laughs> like it just has this, this drum like pound. Underwater is a good description. Yeah, it kind of sounds like that, huh? Mm -hmm. and, and again, this beautiful, this beautiful gold. That looks great. And then this is also a new bridge cap. Okay, let's see what Jake's doing. He's making noise. What? I, I'm gonna show Jake's work and then I'm gonna see what he's doing. Jake just finished this yesterday. This is a Janssen from the 1940s. And in, at this time they were doing a lot of plastic parts. So like these, these back checks were plastic. The, the um, Oh, well, all of the damper levers were plastic. The flanges under there were plastic. The, 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 the whipping flanges, the, the hammer flanges, all of that was plastic. And now fast forward about 75 years and that plastic crumbles. You can literally crumble it with your fingers. And so that needs to be replaced if this piano is really gonna be any good. So Jake did all of that work. That's a very, very meticulous job, very tedious replacing, but it also requires a lot of precision, and Jake is good at precision work. So, this speaking of precision work and Jake, here he is. <laughs> so this is a Howard, do you know what year this one is? I don't. I don't know either, it's probably about 1920 or so. She wanted us to leave the ivory keys as they are, which, you can see they're, they're, they're a little bit yellow, but they're overall, I mean, at least for a hundred years, they're actually in pretty good shape. And, and so what we're doing on this one, Jake's putting on new, new bass strings, but the other strings are remaining original. And then, uh, and then you've done the entire action, right, Jake? On this one? So that's new whippins. New whippins are still original. Oh, the whippins are original, so it's new shanks. Uh, knuckles, flanges, new hammers, and new damper felt. New bushings, you did the bushings on the keys. And then new bass strings, rebuilding the track work. So, cool. Cool little 1920s Howard. Thanks, Jake. Okay, let's go in here. We've got this little Howard. Is that just refinished? Yeah, just refinished. <clears throat> good. This piano here is completely done. The only thing left on this one, I'm going to show you, uh, Victoria's working on this one. The only thing left on this one, it's a complete rebuild, is they wanted real ivory. So, so Victoria's doing the real ivory, but check out the inside of this one. It's George Steck. You can see everything's brand new. Beautiful hammers and dampers and strings. Plate is re- Finished. The, the piano itself is refinished, looking beautiful. And so we're going to talk about. She's doing a, a, again a very, very precision job on the ivory that I'll show you in just a second. This is kind of a special piano. This is a Wurlitzer. 
with only 73 total keys. And that is what Ezzy's working on. I'll show you that in a second. And this piano has been totally refurbished. It's been refinished. This is kind of a specialty, specialty piece. I don't come across these pianos very often. We didn't do a rebuild on it, but we did a refurbish, which is which is a pretty thorough job. This piano actually, came, when it came to us, it was like this kind of kind of uh, lime green, and uh, and I think the the satin black looks great. And the only thing left now, like I said, is the keys. Here's a price of people. Just finished the refinishing yesterday. It's looking good. Check out the inside. There again, you can see all the new hammers, new dampers, hammer butts. Strings are original. Keys are new. Looking nice. Here's a player that we just installed. Let's see if I can uh, pull that up. So this is this is a Wurlitzer from about what 19. Uh, we'll play with that thing closed. 1970, 1980, something like that. Closed? Let's check. Let's see. <laughs> that would be interesting. Let's do some, I like Stevie Wonder a lot. Definitive collection, let's see what we got here. Turn the volume up. <laughs> Watching this, call me. I can help you. We can, we can get together. <laughs> you could jam with him. I can, yeah, I can jam with Stevie. Okay, then Victoria, what are you working on? Ivory. Yes, I cleaned it, found the best matching colors because there's so many of them with old ivory, and now I'm presenting it, which is cool. what I call before actually gluing it to the keys because nice. I want to decide this one specifically is gonna be F2. And that way I know mm. how it's gonna look when I'm done, sort of. Has white background because ivory is translucent and it needs to be really clean back here because then when we glue it on the key, we use linen, mm -hmm. white linen, so True. that it pops out and so I'm using the white paper to know sort of how it's gonna look. Oh. I have the heads here. So after I'm done sorting the tails, I'm gonna match the heads. Awesome. And then once I have everything decided, I'm gonna remove the old plastic, <laughs> and old sure. plastic, right. and glue on the ivory. Very cool. Yeah, the most like time consuming part is this. Yeah. Cleaning, it choosing it. It. I don't think it'll be that bad. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks, Victoria. And Ezzy is doing bushings. Yep, and the Yang Ching. And the Yang Ching, okay. <laughs> yeah. So. And then the, uh, I mentioned that 73 key. The Berlitzi? Oh, there it is. Okay. So usually these keys fill up the box, but where this is just a 73 key piano, which I don't know how many. How many whites? That's 43, 43 whites. And they're okay. so short. They're like little they're baby little toy keys. keys. Yeah, you can see they're, they're pretty damaged here. Let's see how that plastic... It's little, brittle. Very brittle. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so that'll be later today. Mm -hmm. is the, 
Yeah, here. so I'm just re... I stayed pretty late last night trying to get these done, but it was going to take me a while. So I'm rebushing them right now, and then they'll be cleaned and then put in the pan out to be eased. And then they should be done today. And then, yeah, Berlitzer Kawhi will be starting today. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Ezzy. Yeah, and this is a cool project that Adeline is working on. This is a uh, this is an Erard from very old. From very from very, very old. Very old. <laughs> That's its from, official age. From very old. And this is a this is a very unusual system. Very unusual action. These shanks are are uh, so we're, we're keeping the old shanks because these you can't get. You can't get these original shanks. So any any. Uh, any shanks that need to be manufactured brand new or to, fixed they'll have to be yeah. either repaired or oh that's a cool repair uh it didn't work this part broke off this morning as i was trying to shape it so okay. it's re-glued but okay. this one had already broke down and so i just glued the back of a hammer on it and cut it nice these little forks can and i see the hammer that we experimented oh, with yeah, yeah, yeah. okay and so so here's so this is a totally different style if you're not familiar with pianos. So that's that's a modern modern style hammer. That's how they and they usually there's a hole here. But the way this works is it is it attaches on both sides. It requires that for, because this is the back check essentially, or it functions as a back check, this metal thing that comes up through through the forks functions as a modern back check does. So what we're doing is we're gonna ad uh, adapt these modern hammers. To work like this, they'll they'll be cut down. So this was done on the band saw, or the uh, table saw rather. Get get the uh, here. Can you see that? Get the little those notches. The notches in there, and the notches fit in the fork system. In the fork, just like just like that. Yes. Let's see. If, actually, we can use this. I can show you. That's just like a perfect fit. That looks nice. Ooh, so satisfying. And then this will be cut down right here and wrapped in leather to, to match the old hammers. Okay, very cool. And that's, that's just like a perfect fit, which surprisingly on a table saw, you can get super, super precise. You wouldn't think that for such a massive machine that you, you know, run giant four by eight sheets of wood through that you can get that precise. I mean, you're literally down to uh, thousandths of an inch, but when you have the right jigs and tools and things, you can do it. And here's the Lewis, hanging out. <laughs> Store mascot. And here we have Doris doing some, some legs. Some leg work. Today's leg day. Yeah. <laughs> Never skip leg day. <laughs> and, and Julio's always got the party going. Kim. Our team manager. Team manager Kim. Kim Regular guy, Kim. Going. What are you working on, Kim? Um, I'm working on this Baldwin. Um, everyone else has done most of the chiseling. I'm just uh, actually I just took this outside and and soda blasted it before I before I um, go to town with the orbital sander. <laughs> Time to go to town. Yeah. Awesome. Those are the parts over there on the Baldwin that already been already been sanded. Yeah. Looks like Ita is doing the bench and then Paola is doing that that, uh, that front panel piece where you put the sheet music and this piano this Baldwin has totally been, been rebuilt you can see the, the beautiful automotive paint on the plate new strings new new tuning pins you can see the new hammers dampers are are under here you can you can see if I lift those up you can see the new dampers under there New hammer butts. The keys have already been done. Bushings. Lewis, what are you building? Lewis is building a, a parachute. parachute. <laughs> cool. And Julio. 
always rocking a party. out to yeah. his music. Some, that's Cubano? Is the music that's Cubano? That's Buena Musica. This is, uh, he's working on a chickering, a little chickering console that we're doing. This chickering console is about, about 60 years old, something like that. And and it's looking looking fresh and new. This is an Acrosonic, also about 60, 70 years old, and that's looking really nice. Oh, he told me just this morning that he had it done, but there was a hair. He said there was a hair in there, and so he had to tape it off and do and redo it because the so I told him he has to wear a hairnet like a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's more of the Acrosonic right there. Almost done. So, and this is this is a little Howard. Actually, let me show you one, one thing real quick. This is something that we run into regularly. This, this piano actually belongs to my cousin, Heidi. So, uh, this is something that's very common. There's chemicals that, that were used to clean the piano at one point in the past. And, uh, and, and now they're, they're reacting with the chemicals used to finish it. And so now he's got to sand all of that off and then seal it with shellac so that those chemicals are sealed in there and won't happen again. Here's the buffing that Sid was talking about. Kind of makes a mess, but it sure makes metal look beautiful. And, and your new clamp racks that you made. Clamps. Those Impressive. Clamps. Those are Aston weight clamps. Aston weight clamps? Yeah, from the Aston weight factory. So, let's see, actually there's one more thing that I can show you, and then I think we'll end, we'll end this video on, on a really cool piano upstairs. We're going upstairs anyway. So, follow me up. Working on a, a Yamaha there, putting a player system in. Okay, and here's Leah. Leah's doing, looks like, are you leveling keys? Just finished. Cool. Back. Okay, on this little Kohler and Campbell, and this Kohler and Campbell has a player, I believe. Is this the one that has the player? Uh, there's chords, it yeah. looks like. Yeah, it does have a player. It's a about 20 year old player, so we'll be upgrading that to a brand new player, so it plays like the Stevie Wonder one. Okay, let's end this video here with the sine wave. This is a piano that we just finished a few weeks ago. A museum quality Steinway Model B, full rebuild. And check this out. All of this is inlay. Everything, every one of these pieces is in, inlay. Now it's just super glass smooth. All of these little pieces, everything is inlay. Even the decal, check out the decal here. This decal is all inlay, little tiny pieces of wood inlaid. Now it's just super smooth. And then check out the check out the piano itself. Steinway B, almost seven foot, beautifully restrung. There we have it. That's a day in the life. What's today? May 19th, 2023. Lots going on today in the shop. Thanks for watching.